Hey, 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 if you're watching me, you're watching Julie. That's right, that's me with the Julie Show. Where I say I do nothing, but I realize that I do something. And now I have something I want to tell you guys. I think I am going to start a cricket. Explore Air 2 vlog. What do you think? I mean, I'm going to start. I'm learning as I go still. Um, but that's the best part about it, like with the dentures. I did my denture adventure. Now I need a name. Uh, something that when they hashtag that, it'll just come up on YouTube. I'm trying really hard to like see what my body and mind is capable of in my age, you know, because they've been so sick. Last year at this time, I just did a post. Um, today's February 9th. Last year on February 9th, I was in a coma. Or uh, um, trance, comatose, psychosis. I don't know what you call it, but I couldn't talk. I don't remember anything. The first night, I thought it was the first night, I felt like this blonde nurse kept coming in and putting me to bed. But it felt like she was putting me down on a mat like a little kid, so I kept getting up. That right there tells you I'm in the wrong hospital. They should have had me fucking locked down somewhere. If you can't control somebody, you have to lock them down. Okay? It sucks. I don't want to hear that. My health has been so shaky, but tomorrow marks a two-year anniversary of James passing away, and my son is upstairs probably crying. He didn't, I asked him. He was like, yeah, I started talking about it with a friend today. And then he was like, I forgot I didn't even tell anybody at my new job about, you know, my dad. And so-and-so asked him, so how do you get along with your dad? And he said, well, two years ago, my dad died. Actually, two years ago to tomorrow. So sometime after 3 in the morning before 7 a.m., he was found hanging. And this is very devastating. So many people. Such a fallen world. Uh, but that's not what this is about. But I did get that. What I'm trying to do is explain to you guys. I used to work in a field where I was... I liked my job, so I got really good at it really fast. I like doing crafts, so I push myself. And I do really good to learn. I'm a freaking... Uh, there's a name for it. I don't remember what it is. But it's when someone is really, really, really hard on themselves and disciplined... I have been like this my whole life. Oh my gosh, I used to be so bad on myself when I would get sick and not make it to work. Sometimes I would literally get sicker thinking how I was letting them down. My shame and guilt about ate me away. I was sad. But I am learning on this Cricut Air Explorer 2, or it's called a Cricut Explorer Air 2. I don't exactly know, but I have the two. <laughs> I don't have a steam press. I don't have anything else. I asked for one because I saw a bunch of cool stuff coming up. One I've heard a couple people have had them. Love them. They don't get rid of them. It's not really all just for crafting. It's a very useful cutting machine. But one of the main reasons I wanted to get a Cricut is because I wanted to start making real stickers. I, I, I enjoy it. Uh, I make homemade stickers right now. And I use... The unbleached parchment paper and just a really good uh, duck brand clear seal tape. It's about two mil thick. It makes a pretty decent uh, makes a pretty decent label. But I was trying to oops, I was trying to go for the individual lettering uh, type. I mean, you have to do some weeding and get the you know the label out of some of these areas. But it's definitely what I was looking for. But I do want to make labels because I'm getting tired of making homemade labels. So I have a really hard time showing people on the computer because I don't have a camera set up on my computer upstairs in my home office that is going to help you guys learn this. But I do have a 20 step procedure step by step word for word what I've done. I'm going to go slow and you can pause it and stop and go whenever you want because I think I'm very helpful sometimes. It's going to be hard though because I don't have anything to show. I am not sure I want to continue to vlog because I am so new at this, but I think it's very helpful to hear from people that are new as well. Um, I, I mean, I get kind of like nervous if I talk to somebody that 
Well, and anybody who's had dentures for 15 years, their dentures are different. I mean, they just changed them a few years ago to digital, so I don't want to talk to anybody about that. But we're going on a new adventure, and I'm going to take you on the Cricket Craft Adventure. Okay, Cricket Craft. <laughs> That's a good one. The Cricket Craft Adventure. My teeth look so crooked. Not crooked, like, as in, like, all over the place, but if you notice my arch... Oh, Lord, I don't know how to look. It's just so off-centered. My jaw is something wrong there. I don't know if I'm going to have to get it looked at or... Yeah. Oh, you know, your jaw changes when you don't have real teeth. You take them out at night. You soak them. You clean them in the morning. You put them back in. You got to stay in your mouth. Moves a little at night. Look at even my skin. Is, I got wrinkles. I don't. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the stickers. Step one. You want to find the right image file. Let's not try to upload JPEGs all day because you will be layering color on color on color on color. You'll need mat after mat after mat after mat. You'll be weeding on weeding on weeding on weeding. So if you're into stickers, I would say the best thing for you to do is print and cut. Okay? So step one, look for an image in Google under an SVC. F blah, blah, blah. I guess this is not going to work. SVG search. Again, look for images in Google under SVG search. Step two, save an image once you find it, if it's free, to your computer or laptop in a place where you'll be able to find it. Step three, open the file with right click, open with, I use paint.net, but try all your PC offers. Stop here. If nothing worked, I'm not advancing them to reroute that problem yet. You don't have a paint.net when you're like right clicking your options when you're on something on the computer. Um, I tried all of them. Now, I am pretty sure paint.net is free with Windows. A lot of people have Windows. If you are working off a of Mac, I have no idea. Uh, I don't even have an Apple phone. Uh, I'm confused when it comes to the Apple products. So don't, that I can't help you with. So that's why I put a big note. So stop here. If uh, you've gotten to this point where you're pulling up images and you don't know how to convert them or you do not have a program to convert them. I'm not 100% sure what would happen if you just uploaded the SVG file in SVG file. I I don't know. You might have to go try that. That's not something I tried. So step four, um, in paint.net, I go to the file and I save as. I don't touch the file. It opens up like... When I do this, it opens up almost like a Photoshop, okay? And all I'm going to do is it opens up, the picture opens up for me. I'm going to file. I'm saving the file as is. I only brought it to paint.net to convert it. And then when I save it as is, you can give me an option underneath the box. It says file type. Click that to the second one and go to PNG. PNG and then save. Step five, open Cricut Design Space. Let's get going. Step six, click a new project or the plus sign up in the corner. I don't have a computer to show you down here. Step seven, upload your PNG by clicking upload. On the left screen panel, choose complex option. I forgot to put that in. I had to go back and it was going to be another step, but there's three options. The third one is complex. Please hit that. If you've gotten this far, you are doing really good because this took me a very, very long time. If I could have had a step-by-step -step guide... I did. A lot of these videos on YouTube work. I just need to find a good hashtag that you guys... Maybe you guys will comment I suck and I won't even do it. I don't know. I've never really had that problem though in the past. I've always been like a trainer and a leader. I've been sick for a few years, but I'm waking out of my coma now. I'll tell you that. I was really sick last year, you guys. Holy crap. Alright, so... Okay, we are at step 7. Upload your PNG by clicking the Upload... On the left screen panel, choose complex option. All right, step eight, create the size you want and duplicate if wanted by right clicking over the image. So we are in design space now and I'm telling you to create the size you want. As you know on design space, you have the grid and you can even get rid of the grid marks. I don't remember exactly how, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it's in the three bars up there in the um, settings. Um, Let's step eight, create the size you want. You could just move it around. There's a little lock on it. If you unlock that, you'll be able to move it in every direction. If you keep it locked, you're only going to be able to go diagonal. Okay? Nobody told me that, and it's not even on here. I forgot to even put that on here. 
Step nine, click your image and then click the offset button on the top left menu. Okay, so you go to the top and you have a menu and you're going to have offset. Step 10, each sticker will need to be offset. So you're going to click on your sticker in your, in your um, space, design space, and then you're going to go up to the menu and hit offset. Okay, and it's going to turn, uh, um, it's going to give you a little box. This is 0.25, change it to 0.15. 0.15 has been perfect. So you do not want the images sitting on top of each other because when the cutter goes to cut it, sometimes it can't separate them. They've bled through. I messed up on my second batch. Got a little too cocky, did I? Okay, let's get back to this. Like I said, okay, so click your image and then click the offset button on the top left menu. Step 10, each sticker will need to be offset individually. So... I, everybody will say they try to fit as many stickers on these pages as they can because this stuff is not very cheap. It adds up. Okay, sticker paper, vinyl paper, whatever you're printing on. It ain't, it's not cheap. The ink ain't cheap. It, I keep saying ain't. It is not cheap to do any of this. So if we're giving you tips and tricks on how to save money, you can reuse your mats. You can reuse your transfer paper. There's a lot of things I'm learning that you can do that will just help. You don't have to use Cricut tools. You don't have to use Cricut supplies. I mean, everything. The mats I bought aren't even Cricut brand. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going way off step. I'm supposed to be teaching you how to make stickers. Uh, we're going to do step 11 again. Click the image. Click offset. Change amount to 0.15 and click apply. Step 12. It turned black. Go to the top right menu and see the operation bar. You'll see it up on the top and click on the color box. Change it to white. It automatically changes it to black. It scared the crap out of me. I didn't know what to do either. You will do this with each image. Step 13, once you have an offset, you create a layer. Ignore that for this, okay? Once you have an offset, you create a layer. Ignore that for print and cut. Step 14, highlight all of your image. All of them. If you made 10, 15, 20, I don't know how many images you have, but it is time to take your cursor, your mouse, and you are going to highlight all of them. Drag drag it over every all the pictures or all the stickers you're going to make. Okay. I'm just making sure I'm, I'm okay. Okay, so once you have highlighted all your images, go to the top right and hit group. And then you need to go to the bottom underneath the layer bar, which is confusing the crap out of you at this point, and just hit flatten and watch it all go up to one layer. That's what your goal is here. You're gonna be you're gonna be like slap you're gonna be like holy crap, yes. <laughs> Layers are not my thing. I'm not ready for that yet. I got to learn this machine and do some projects first. Um, I have done a few things with layers. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I did a turtle. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I did that. This heart, it didn't turn out right, but I did it. The black is supposed to go over the red. I did that. That was my first two color. Um, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. But anyways, the pictures. Or the stickers, the pictures. I used to be a photographer. I say that a lot. Um... <sighs> Where did I leave off? 13, you have an offset, you create a layer. Okay, we ignored that. I told you to flatten it, and all the layers disappear. Step 15, click, make it. Your green button, there you go. Step 16, print a vinyl or matte sticker with inkjet, printable sticker, paper, laminate for, waterproof. So after you're done printing this, self-adhesive sheets, uh, laminate sheets, you cannot laminate it with a um, real laminator heater because you have to have your seal in the back to open or come off so you can stick your sticker. So what you would do is you would buy the uh, laminate adhesive and you would put it over your um, sticker paper right after it prints. So you could have a waterproof or, you know, non-smudge uh, stickers from what I'm hearing. I didn't do that. I didn't get it yet. I had to order some. Um, uh, tonight all I used was a flat mat, very thin, as thin as this, really, even with the backing, it's really hard to get it off. I don't know why they keep sending me this junk. This is like the third thing I've ordered or fourth thing. This paper is just never turning out right now. The only thing so far that's really done excellent, excellent, excellente, uh, cardstock and chalkboard vinyl. I think that the machine likes the grit. Think about it. Chalk, like Cardstock is like really thick. I think the machine likes the grit. I'm going to put my hand on because I feel my hands are going to my head too much. And there's a hole in the top of my head because it's one of them where you put your buns on. The buns on. Buns through. I don't have enough hair to make a bun anymore, but I did it one time. And I'm going to again. 
I still am going to mess with my hair for a minute because I just want to make it look a little bit more like I'm at home. And guys, I'm in my own home in a craft room. Okay, I got a bedroom, I got an office. It's all good. Um, we're way down here. So, yeah, see what you can do when you listen to YouTube and a person like me, you just stop. Don't go do exactly what I said and go pause me and then come back and then go do it again and come pause. That's exactly how you do it. Some people will show you and then I definitely will tell you that's the better way to go. But if you do a step by step like this, some people understand. Okay, so um, we did the laminate for waterproof if you're going to do that. Step 17 would be choose your paper type and set print out on your green mat. So you're going to put your print out on a green mat. You want a standard green mat for this because you need it to have a little bit more tack than the blue one. Um, when I say choose your paper type, it's like that's going to be on your Air 2 machine. You are going to either use dial to decide what you want. I leave mine open where it says custom and then therefore I use the list inside design space. I don't exactly know how to get there. Um, there's a button with green type, I think. That's another YouTube video you're going to have to watch. I'm, I'm just not good enough on this to explain every single thing. I'm just telling you exactly how I made my stickers so maybe yours would turn out. Um, and then it says, 18, watch the cutter scan the black line. There will be a black line around it, and that is for the registration and the bleed. Step 19, I used to work on printing. This is the part about printing I did never get involved in. Like, some of the terminology is even the same, and I took printing all through high school. All, all, I worked in nothing but printing companies. That's all I did. I okayed prints to run. I was a quality man. It's crazy. And I guess maybe that's why this is all just not, it's not that it's easy, but it has, it's, maybe I just like to learn. I don't know, guys. Okay, so then after that cuts 19, it will then cut the image. It'll cut every line that you saw on the outside of the offset. I put the pull away skeleton when complete. If the images merge, it is because the offset bled into another offset. Uh, there will be an option to turn the bleed off. You always want to turn the bleed off if you're going to do print uh, stickers because um, they're already 0.15 offset around them from when you set it up. Okay? And after that, I mean, you're just pulling the skeleton off and there's your stickers. I mean, you got to be careful on the mat. Maybe some tweezers. Where my tweezers go? I just had my hand in the sun. I must have dropped. I don't know. I just had them. I was playing with them. <laughs> this is not what I was talking about. Son of a beehive. Oh, whatever. I, I don't know what I'm trying to do, guys. I'm trying to make a video that makes sense for you guys because I'm understanding it and I'm not one that wants... Why do I keep looking for the dang tweezers? I don't know where they went. I just... I know that it's a struggle when you are new at something. I know there's been a few times on the job where I did not feel comfortable training somebody, but I had to anyways. I hope I'm not teaching you how to do anything wrong because the only thing I think that's wrong is I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm making flowers, the cardstock, cutting words out like I want to, making swear jars, putting flowers on me. I have some weird stuff. Just extra crap. This was some orange vinyl I was practicing with. So I just I don't like to waste, so I just stick it on crap. This is a swear jar. You would think money goes in it, but it doesn't. It used to have apple cider vinegar gummies in it. And they were bad, really bad. And so whenever you swear, you got to take a big sniff of the swear jar. God! It's like vinegar. It's starting to get a little bit less. Made me a little travel sew kit. I just took an old uh, cream conditioner that I was using in my hair, like a conditioning mask. And I painted it white and put a couple... Of little things just in case you know you go out of town and you need a little sew kit. I sewed seven seven hats in the car on the way back from Arizona because <laughs> I brought that with me. That's just the kind of stuff that I keep for myself. I made the candy monster. Um, this is a purple canvas that used to have a turtle on it, and I just went ahead and made it purple because it's one of my favorite colors. And this is Gage R is backwards. Co. Um, if and ever, if someday this ever took off and I could make um, 
I don't know. I don't know if it'll ever take off. Not in this economy, it won't. But I'm just saying, like, I might give up eventually, but... I've been writing a book for 10 years, too, and I'm trying to come up with a title for that. I don't know if I just live in make-believe land, but I can't do gauge art. Um, there was one I was trying to do. It's been so long now, I don't even remember. It's a, but it's a school in, in in Seattle, so you can't use that name. Anyways, it's never going to happen. 20 minutes, I'm supposed to be teaching you guys how to do cricket. So when you do these... There is a program you're going to go into when you go to a new project, and that is going to be the um, flower shop. You're going to go to the flower shop. S-H-O-P-P-E. And it's going to give you spirals, and there's only one I can usually find in there. I, had, I don't remember where I saved the rest of them at. There's one like this. This is not my favorite flower, you guys. This is like one of my very first flowers. I threw a couple of them away that were white inside. If you don't use the right cardstock, you're not going to get the right. But this is too wide. You know, this is at least a little bit better of a wind. I think that one is like perfect. So that's even a little bit too wide, but it still looks all right. This is like my favorite one. The little round one. The oval. There it is in light pink. Yeah. This one's a little bit wider. Could probably put something in there too, like a little bit of glitter, a gem. I don't know. This one didn't turn out. Ah, this one was sticking out of it. <laughs> when you wrap these and you do a coffee filter roll, it's almost the very same way you wrap these, but these wrap from the outside in. Always when you do a coffee filter, you wrap from the inside out. It's so weird. Life is weird. Okay, but this is how you make stuff. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer because every one of these stupid videos that I make, and I know they're not all stupid, but I'm just down on myself because I'm tired. I'm really am tired. Um, I have to watch these. These are not live. And if I don't approve of it, then I don't ever show you. And there's several videos that I have made in the past, like, year that doesn't get posted. That just means that I don't like myself, but sometimes I don't necessarily not like myself. I just, I don't have to watch me if I don't want to. You don't have to watch me if you don't want to. Go in peace. Bye-bye.